a boat that can't stay afloat. Okay, so what we did this year is we needed to get brand new lights because the sets that we had were really old and half of them didn't work. And make a long story short, we got a whole bunch of lights. But the problem is, what are we gonna do with the boxes? Well, I got a little idea on what to do with the boxes. So let's have a little bit of fun. Okay, so it's Christmas time again. All of our childhood favorite specials are playing. From Charlie Brown Christmas to The Little Drummer Boy to Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I'm going to focus on one of my personal favorites, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This special from 1964 was by Rankin and Bass. The movie featured a snowman named Sam who proceeds to tell us a story of Christmas that didn't happen. Well, almost didn't happen. Sam was played by Burl Ives, and we've got the wonderful songs from him including Silver and Gold and Holly Jolly Christmas. He introduces us to Christmas Town, and we see the birth of a baby reindeer named Rudolph. Santa would visit him and notice that his nose would glow bright red. Ultimately, Santa would express his disappointment and leave, but from that point on, Rudolph would not quite be accepted, and he wouldn't fit in anywhere. Ultimately, he would end up running away, but he would meet new friends. These friends were also outcasts, and they would all form a bond. Rudolph does return to Christmas Town, and the rest, as they say, is history. But that's not what I want to focus on. The part where Yukon Cornelius, Hermie, and Rudolph use a chunk of ice to escape the abominable snowman is where I'm going to start this story. Floating on the water, they eventually land on an island. They notice a lion flying in the sky and are amazed, and they're introduced to the island of misfit toys. They meet a jack-in-the-box. Ultimately, his name is Charlie. He is considered a misfit toy because he is a Charlie in the box instead of a jack-in-the-box. Charlie introduces Rudolph, Hermie, and Yukon Cornelius to the rest of the toys. Each one has a defect that makes it unwanted by children. There are many toys that inhabit the island. From a spotted elephant to a choo-choo train that has square wheels on his caboose, and a parrot that swims instead of flies, even a squirt gun that fires jelly instead of water. But those of you who follow my channel may have an idea of which one my favorite always was. Since seeing the special for the first time in my early childhood, I have always been a f very, very, very fond of the little boat who could not float. Of course, had I been on the island of Misfit Toys, he's the first one that I would have taken. I did give consideration to the train with the square wheels on its caboose, but my heart always returned to the boat. I decided that instead of just throwing away the boxes that we received for the new Christmas lights, I wanted to turn it into something Christmas related and special. I had always wanted a version of the boat, but nothing to my knowledge has ever been released for the character. So this is as good a time as any to create him on my own using the Christmas light boxes. I'm going to plan it out and then we're going to build him from the keel up. There's really not much detail on him but I do want to make him appear as screen accurate as possible and I did notice that he did stutter slightly when he spoke but perhaps that is because he was trying to stay above the water. This is the introduction video to the short Christmas series. The next video will feature the plan to build him out, including a plan or schematic to follow. I will have already decided on the size of him, as well as the research that we're going to put into the colors to use. So my friends, until the next video, I hope you will have as much fun watching this as I will making it. May you and your family have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.